guys, it's Aislin, and in today's video, we are finally going to bleach these little front sections. It's been two months since I bleached them, and I try to keep up on them once a month, and I've just been letting them go because I knew I was going to have to bleach them before the Billie Eilish concert. So I have to bleach them today because I'm dyeing my hair rainbow. So I went ahead and I bought a new bleach kit to test for you guys. I know you guys like when I try um, like bleach kits like this, so I decided to try Lime Crimes Unicorn Hair Bleach Party bleach kit i just tried their hair color for the first time a little bit ago i'll leave a link to that video up here in case you missed it i actually really enjoyed their hair color so i have high hopes for their bleach kit today i love the pink packaging i think it's adorable so let's go ahead and open up and see what comes inside oh yay it actually comes with a good pair of gloves like the actual good vinyl gloves not some plastic crunchy lunch kit <laughs> gloves you know what i'm saying like these are high quality when i purchased this kit you had the option of choosing 20 or 40 volume developer and i chose 20 volume developer i obviously don't need 40 volume but i'm so glad they actually decided to give people options instead of just putting out like a 30 volume developer or 40 volume and then everybody has to get that volume if they want this kit so many other companies who have kits only give one option and a lot of people wind up frying off their hair because the volume is so high so so I was very pleasantly surprised to see that they offer more than one volume. So this bleach kit retails for $22, so it's really not that pricey. Here is the bottle of developer. Ooh, it's powder. Here is the thing of powder bleach. And then it comes with a pamphlet talking about instructions and how to use it. So I went ahead and read the instructions and it says for 40 volume, leave on 15 to 20 minutes. And for 20 volume, leave on up to 45 minutes. And you're supposed to mix this one to two ratio. So that means one part lightener, two parts of developer. So let's say you're doing like one ounce of lightener, you're gonna want two ounces of developer. The packaging is so cute. Um, I love this plastic container with bleach in it. I've never seen a company who releases a bleach kit come out with a container like this. Normally they're in like a little packet and you have to like cut the top and it's just not as aesthetically pleasing. This packaging is so nice for reuse. Like you can just get out how much bleach you need. I just spilled this all over my lap. Anyway, you can get out however much bleach you need and then you can just reseal it and store it. If it came in a plastic baggie, it's a little bit harder to like restore it and it doesn't sit nicely. So I love, love, love the packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up one to two ratio and we will start applying. So I just mixed up 10 grams of the bleach powder and then I mixed up 20 grams of the 20 volume developer. Obviously I don't need much for <laughs> the little tiny roots I'm doing right here. The bleach also has a bluish undertone to it. I don't know if you can tell in the bowl. It kind of just looks white in the bowl, but it does have the slightish gray blue undertone to it. Okay, we've got the product mixed up. I need a section off my hair and then we can start applying. All right, I've got this section off. So now we are able to start applying the lightener. As you guys can see, it is grown out quite a bit. It's two months of regrowth, maybe a little bit less than two months. Okay, here we go. I have to say, I love the consistency of the bleach. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. It's such a nice creamy consistency. So I'm pleased with everything so far. The biggest test will be how my hair feels after I rinse this off. And as I'm applying the lightener, I apply it to the top and bottom section of each piece. So as you can see, I'm applying it right here to this section and then also applying it here. So I'm gonna bring down the next section. And as I said, we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and do the top. I also take really small, fine sections so that way the bleach can really penetrate the hair and everything is coated. Now, because I only have the front part of my hair bleached right now, I have to be really careful when I'm applying this. I can't get it on any of my regrowth right here. So I have to start being really careful the closer back I get to where all my natural roots are. So I'm gonna hold this up instead of holding it back because I don't wanna accidentally smush it on everything else. Another thing is to make sure you're picking up enough product on your brush 
You don't want to be able to see the color of the hair through the bleach. You want it to just be completely white. That way you know you're saturating and you're going to get like an even lift. It's not going to be patchy or look like a little calico kitty. Because I'm getting closer to my roots, I'm going to start laying these pieces down and just applying the bleach on the back side instead of applying it on both because I really don't want this to bleed. I also wanted to mention the fragrance in this bleach is not very strong. Like I, I don't feel like it's taking my breath away. With some lighteners, as soon as you mix it up, you feel like you're dying. You're like, oh, it like takes your breath away because it's so strong. This doesn't have a fragrance to it. It smells like just normal bleach, but it's not a super, super strong bleach smell that's going to like gas you out, you know, like when you have to leave the room and you're gasping for air. Oh yeah, I've been there. So I'm just gonna take the bleach and just wiggle it close to my roots back here. I don't wanna get too close because the lightener does swell as it processes. So I'm just gonna kinda tap it in there. And then if there's any areas where you feel like you accidentally got it on another part of the hair, I just wipe it off. Like this right here, this piece is not supposed to be bleached. You could also get a squirt bottle, which I have on the floor here, and just spray any pieces of hair that accidentally got lightener on it. So once I have all this applied, I like to go back through and cross check all my sections. If you're new here and you don't know what cross checking is, Basically, I just applied the lightener like this in horizontal sections. So now that it's all applied, I'm gonna go back through this section and I'm gonna take vertical sections. So I'm gonna split this right down the middle and I'm just gonna part it into the two little sections. So now I'm gonna go through and double check and make sure I have completely saturated and that I didn't miss any sections. So I'm just gonna reapply everywhere and you can see it's already starting to lift. So I'm just gonna take small vertical sections, reapply, and make sure I will not be left with any little brown spots. There's been so many times where I was bleaching my whole head and I went back through and cross-checked and I missed spots. So I definitely would not skip this step. It saved me so many times in the past from leaving big brown chunks in the back of my head. Even on small sections like this where I can clearly see what I'm doing, uh, I still like to go ahead and cross check just to make sure I'm not missing any hairs. Now that I've cross checked, I'm just gonna apply on my forehead, on my hairline right here to make sure that this is nice and saturated. Okay, now that we've got the lightener applied, I'm gonna let this sit for 30 to 45 minutes. It kind of just depends on how quickly it's lifting. I will say I'm seeing it lift pretty fast, so I'm not sure I'm gonna have to leave it on the full 45 minutes, but I'm gonna set my timer for 45 and then check it like every 10 minutes to see how it's lifting. I do need it to be a platinum blonde to match my ends, so I don't wanna take it off too soon. So I'm just gonna set my timer for the 45 minutes and I'll let you know when I come back how long I had to leave it on for. I do still have quite a bit of lightener left in here. I would say I have like over half of what I originally mixed up. So so I only needed like five grams of bleach to do this. Because the formulation of the lightener is so creamy and it's not too thick and it's not too runny, it's easy to work with. It's not too thick, so you're able to spread it through your hair a little bit better and it saturates the hair really easily, so you're not using as much product. I'm gonna let this process and I will be back to show you guys the finished result and hopefully it doesn't damage my hair and it's a good bleach because so far I'm really loving the product. All right, you guys, I am back and I am really impressed. I wound up leaving it on for 30 to 35 minutes and it did an incredible job at lifting my roots. Like it's so even, there is no banding, there's no line of demarcation, like, it's all the same color. It did such a good job. My hair felt a little bit dry after rinsing it out, but nothing abnormal. Like anytime I bleach my roots, my hair feels a little bit dry afterwards. It was the same amount of dryness anytime I would have bleached my roots. Most of the time when I use bleaching kits, my hair feels extremely dry and brittle afterwards, but this one did not do that to my hair. I am really impressed with how well it worked. I love the packaging. I love the good pair of gloves it comes with. I'm really impressed and this is probably one of my favorite bleaching kits I've ever tried, if not my favorite bleaching kit I've ever tried. If you're looking to get yourself a bleaching kit and you don't wanna buy like the developer and the powder separate and you're just looking for a quick 
fun, easy bleach kit to use. This one is very user-friendly and I actually highly recommend. I will leave a link to this bleach kit in the description down below in case you guys want to try it. I always recommend going to Sally's and getting like a tub of bleach and a bottle of developer because it comes out to be way cheaper than buying kits all the time, but you don't need a big tub of bleach and a big thing of developer if you're only doing something small, like you just want to bleach the front two sections of your hair, or maybe you just want to bleach the underneath section of your hair. You know, you don't need to spend all that money on that tub of bleach if you just want to do a few pieces. So bleaching kits are a great option if you are just looking to do a few little peekaboos in your hair. I have now tried the Lime Crime Color and the Bleach Kit and both of them are great in my opinion. I don't know why, I didn't think Lime Crime was that great of a brand, but I've had such positive experiences with them so far. I am excited to try more of their products and see what else they have to offer. It's crazy how good it feels to have like these front two pieces bleached and touched up. Like it's crazy. Every time I bleach them, the comparison to my roots versus this, it just gets more and more drastic. When I first started growing up my roots, I would have like this much roots and then this would be blonde. So it wasn't that noticeable, but dang, it is very, very noticeable now. You can tell these are definitely supposed to be bright blonde and this is definitely now mostly brown. Like there is such a big difference between the two and I love it. I love seeing that. Like Yay! I'm now getting ready to dye my hair neon rainbow, so check out my next video to see the transformation. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much, and until next time, guys, stay weird. Bye.